Have you ever dreamed your video suddenly popped to thousands and thousands of views? Well, it happened to me, but it is actually not as ideal as you might think. And can you replicate this? The answer is clarity, yes. The video you are watching right now is a poorly made animation. It was created in under a day when the creator was just playing around with Moon Animator. For those who don't know, Moon Animator is a popular animation software on Roblox. And spoiler alert, I made the video. It might seem like it is just some random video with low views, right? In fact, it blew up completely. Let's explore the statistics and I will explain this blue up video later on. But for now, let's take a look at the path to make my videos or your videos gain a particular number of views. With over 150 videos on my channel, you can now only see around 10 of them because I removed every video with under 10,000 views. I can show you how my first kind of viral video gained thousands of views, and what happened with the other videos that followed. Back in the days when this channel hadn't been rebranded yet, I focused on quantity instead of quality. I would upload videos every single day on different trending topics such as All Star Tower Defense, Roblox Virtual Effects, Lightning Beams, etc. Eventually, some of them turned out really bad, while others did really well. If the story stopped here and I kept doing the same thing over and over again, my channel would have become extremely popular. But spoiler alert again, it didn't. I continued uploading content for a whole year and reached 1000 subscribers. But it got to a point where I lost my passion and felt embarrassed about my past work. At this point, someone might ask, can't you start earning money by reaching 1000 subscribers? Why wasn't it ideal? Well, there's a huge factor called watch hours. Yes, I did gain an enormous number of views with those blew up videos. Yes, I did gain 1000 subscribers. But given the watch hours gap, I could tell by that time it wasn't even reaching half of the requirements. This brings us back to the main topic. Why is accidentally hitting an enormous number of views not as ideal as you think? To determine whether a viral video is ideal or not, we have to consider various factors. First of all, length. Let's compare two of my videos that reached 10,000 views or more. The one with nearly 20,000 views got around 80 watch hours in the last 90 days, while the one just hit 10,000 views got 3 times more watch hours. This shows that if your short video goes viral, it's not really productive. Secondly, average view duration. This is a significant factor that helps you to decide whether to share a video or not. Let's revisit the two videos I mentioned earlier. The one with higher views have an average view duration of around 70%, while the one with lower views only has around 20%. This means the video with higher views will have a more positive impact on the channel. The sources of views are also crucial to consider, such as whether it heavily relies on YouTube search or comes from organic sources. But what I'm really true trying to convey is that a blue up video won't necessarily give your entire channel a boost. It might help you achieve impressive data, but ultimately, the impact on the channel might be minimal. Depending solely on blue up videos might not be the best solution. How can a poorly made animation get so many views? Let me provide a quick summary. If you are unaware, this animation follows a trend. The high quality cutscenes animation made by Falco Blockland. I understand there is a significant gap between these animations, but that's how is it. With an interesting thumbnail that attracts viewers curiosity, what's going to happen? The video sort months after being published and continue to grow, but those are just my quick presumptions. Can you actually replicate what I've just done? The answer is yes. You can keep uploading trending content every single day, and eventually, one or some of them will blow up. However, this will only work if you understand how the YouTube algorithm and SEO impact your video, and if you are creating quality content instead of something really plain. But if you are wondering whether it is sustainable, I would say it really isn't. I don't know if it works better with the YouTube Shorts feature nowadays as I didn't bother to explore them before. However, based on my experience, it is not the most ideal situation for me because I'm always embarrassed by the low quality work I've created. I admit that luck played a role in my channel's success, but if you closely examine the data, you might find evidence on how it all happened. People often say to focus on quality rather than quantity, and maybe they are right. 
perhaps I should constantly produce quality work like this video until I achieve real success. Then again, who knows? I'm going to do it anyway because the experimental spirit is the only way to determine whether something is truly correct or effective. The answer will reveal itself through the trajectory of my channel. Ultimately, what did I gain from the video that accidentally gained 20,000 views? Just some numbers.